cut down a little bit, take the edge off it and ride into your thing with the circle. I'm going to have to go in the shed. Getting my phone all wet.
firm on her side. Think about riding those two circles like that, so heel down, leg on her side. Okay. Out of boy. Go large, sit in trot, E haunches in to H. Keep your rhythm, keep your rhythm, keep your rhythm, keep your rhythm. Good job. Straighten out, inside bend. Change your rein across the diagonal, MXK. F sitting trot. Skatel, skatel, ball, and haunches in. That's nice. A little bit more angle would be good. Okay, and straighten out. Got to keep that going off your right leg. Again, establish your sitting trot. E. And horse is in. Make your head a little bit straighter with her. Fine. Good. Straighten out. Turn down center line. And pulse in front of the arm. Okay, and pick up your trot down the long side. Right into a circle around us. And 
half a circle on the center line down to walk. center line, pick up the canter for half a circle to where here. you are now. From there to here. Remember you inside leg on, after that inside leg and canter. Come on. Here we go. The canter just passed that mark because you started a bit later. And down you come. Oh, good. Right, pick up your canter again. Now, Stand for a full circle. Stop him with your hand, just give him the direction. A bit more legs. A little bit more legs. There you go. It was going to stroll there. Well done. Keep going. And down you come. Try a full circle. And on center line, pick up your canter again. Keep your body up tall. Keep driving with your seat and your legs. Going. And down you come. Excellent. At the top of the circle, come back to walk. Give her a pat. Change the rain through the circle. Over with weight. Okay. Change the range through the circle. So you change the range through the circle. You want to dissect your circle in equal halves. That was more like a little half circle reverse on the inside. Okay. As opposed to picking up, walking across your circle and out. Oh, okay. Again, I, just, I didn't even know there was a difference. Well, there you have it. <laughs> okay, your little half circle reverse to the inside would be a little five meter circle to the inside. Remember, your circle generally is 20, 20 meters. So you're coming a quarter circle to the inside back onto the track. When you go back to circle in half, change the range through the circle, then you cut your circle in half. And generally, either use the center line or use the quarter line, your quarter mark line. Okay? So directly, there's your circle, you're going to chop it in half and walk out the other way. Okay, pick up your trot. This is my new way, my new system. Okay. Mm. Just extra charge, but that's two hands. Okay, on the center line at the bottom, you're going to come back to walk first. And all that walk... Is this the bottom? Doesn't really matter. Okay. And pick up your trot, pick up your inside hand a bit. All right, and you're going to pick up your canter at the top there. So full circle. <laughs> Try your canter transition for half a circle. Off you go. Come on, come on. There you go. Soften with your hand a little bit. And down you come. Oh, good. Right, this time you're going to ride the full circle. And canter. Good job. Soften with your hand. Going. Do that once more. And and set. Right. Full circle. Keep going. Feel that that can to get a little bit slow there. She's anticipating possibly coming down there. And back to truck. Good job. Top of the circle over here, come back to walk. And again, give her a tap. Good job. Better walk the circle. So that was pretty even.
open on both sides, okay? Yeah. Just your first strike off here out of the trot. Give her the benefit of the doubt. She hadn't canted yet, wasn't quite sure when you just asked her to move on a little bit. But it's up to you to make that differentiation. So that when you ask for that canter the first time, it happens where you want it, how you want it, and accurate, okay? And it ran on a little bit, so we ended up having to canter a little bit fast. But after that, every other one was okay. She's now into the mode of canter, that's what we're going to be doing. But it needs to come from the first time you ask. And it's all about you being firm enough that first time. Okay, once again, change your range through the circle. what you were talking about when I said you got a canter in a straight line yeah. okay so we're going to start on a circle and you're going to take it out of the circle and ride down and come back to trot in the far corner so you're going to come out of the circle and ride maybe five or six strides in a straight line okay so pick up your trot on the circle and next time around when you're here you're going to pick up your can you're going to go on to the long side and canter down to the corner. Keep your canter forward now. Now think about your hips staying forward, outside leg slightly back. There we go. That's excellent. Good. Right, come back across your diagonal, short diagonal into the circle in the other direction. your circle and down the bottom here with the left ring you're going to pick up canter and do exactly the same with the way around so here where we canter okay pick up your canter again okay out of the circle and down the long side keep the outside leg back slightly Good. And back to trot. Good job. Right, change your rein once again. Back into your right hand circle. Down here next to me, and you're going to canter out of the circle down the long side round to letter A. Come on, lean forward, up, heel down, and a bit stronger with your canter. Soften with your hand, just give her the guidance as to where you're going. Keep your leg on, keep your leg on, you're going to A. Cross the diagonal, back into the circle on the left. And you're picking up your canter next to us and you're going to repeat the same movement off to the left. Up you go, canter. Good job. Hold your 20 meter circle onto the long side and canter around to A. Keep it going. Keep it. Leg on through the turn. Okay. Stay on that. Stay large. Right back into your circle. I want you to canter to A. Don't let it filter out on the corner accuracy and you ride to it even if you go a little bit past it at the moment 
You're riding too reserved at the canter. Get her out there in front and even canter past the marks. Then we can start working about bringing it back. Back to canter here on the center line. Good, full circle. Good, keep going. Okay, back to your circle, back to your circle. Turn in, circle, circle. Sorry? How did I lose that? I'm not sure. Keep going. Leaning a little bit forward. You've got to stay up and back. Sit up into it and keep your leg on. Okay, establish your circle. And maybe anticipation of what's going to happen down there with you. I didn't even think. I was like all geared up to go. Okay, maybe you need to be thinking of it then. Okay, and Danza. <laughs> come on, come on. Soften with your hand. Soften, soften. There, that's better. Good, keep it going. There, I saw that was about to break again. Keep going. Right to A. Keep going, through the turn. Right on, right on, right on, right on, right on. And down. Good. Well done. Trot large. I'm going to change hands. just because you're going on a long side and there's a stigma to attach to that I appreciate that but there's no need to hang on because that's why she's breaking so you kind of get that stigma of why she's doing it I'm telling you why she's doing it and you just need to soften or allow the canter to happen okay let's go once more same thing again you can pick up the canter here canter a full circle take it up and get a little bit closer to the tractor you don't have to canter past the tractor and trot in the corner not halfway up the front side. Is that that was going to be No. Oh, I know. Go down. And just the circle. Good. Turn your hand to the circle. You're going to pick up your canter at the bottom of the circle, canter the circle and go up the long side towards the mountain block. Full circle first. Good, 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 good. Stop them with your hands. Open with your hand, get her out there in front of you a bit more. A little bit more. Ah. I can see that happening. That's why I said that. You've got to get a little bit more with your canter. Come again. Pick up your canter here and go straight up the long side. I think she's getting a bit tired with the canter also right now. 
Okay, pick up your canter and straight up the long side. Look where you're going. Go, 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 go. Cash, you need to use your leg a little bit more. Look at that, with the hand. Go around the bottom, round the bottom of us, pick it up again and canter up the long side to here. It's just the stigma of going large. You kind of got the comfort of the circle, it's all okay, it's just going outside of that now. Pick up your canter. Head to the boundary block. Go, go, there you go. Good job. leg back so you're putting yourself in that position but we're only asking for that canter transition on the circle and that's how you should be riding anyway outside slightly back okay inside hip is forward but what i'm saying is when you come onto the circle don't straighten yourself out you don't feel that you stay in that position yeah. although you're riding into a straight line just keep that hip slightly yeah. forward and achieving that by keeping the outside leg slightly back Well, I think I did pretty good considering my, uh, you know, circumstances. Oh my God.